hi friends in this video I am explaining about the charging system of most EVTs and motorcycles which are using such a system and they are charging for uh, battery charging as every vehicle have a battery which is normally 12 volt and uh, they have some alternator or generator which is providing power to charge the battery and that power is also used to run the vehicle to run most of the systems on vehicle like ignition system fuel system and some other systems like stereos and accessories so such a power is used to run those accessories and run the vehicle also so here this type of system is used on uh, most motorcycles and EVTs and also some three wheelers vehicle they are using such three phase alternator to charge the battery and to serve the other accessories power mm, so here I am going to show you uh, this system consists of uh, two parts two main parts are there one is the alternator or stator and the second one is this uh, rectifier or regulator so we will discuss about these items in this video uh, before going towards the video content you have to uh, subscribe my channel press on bell icon and press on all so then you will get notifications on each upload and if you like this video give a big thumbs up uh, so this one as you can see uh, this alternator this is a 18 pole alternator and it have a cable connection over here you can see these yellow wires three wires they are coming out of uh, these windings uh, this uh, device winding video is there on my channel you can get it uh, if you are interested to see how it is wind or how it is connected interconnected uh, so that video you will get on my channel also so these three yellow wires you can see there they are bringing three phase power out of this alternator coil uh, this one is not a part of uh, charging system this is there with this uh, coil you can see uh, but this is located outside the magnet because here a magnet is turning a permanent magnet is turning uh, north and south pole they are turning all the time with the engine there is the crankshaft is coming out and a magnet is fixed on that and that is turning on these poles and uh, such permanent magnets are inducing voltage voltages in these uh, 18 poles and this that voltage or power is coming out through this cable I'm repeating and repeating because these technical terms are must to be repeated because without repetition it's a difficult to understand then this regulator part it is accepting these three wires it is accepting I mean these three wires are connected uh, this way and uh, this regulator part is regulate is rectifying and regulating because this three phase power is not suitable to charge a battery a lead acid battery it needs more than 12 volt uh, something 25 percent more than 12 volt that is some way uh, minimum 15 volts it needs to charge that voltages should be dc three phase power is not accepted for the battery dc power is accepted to the battery uh, so this three phase power is going to this regulator or rectifier regulator slash rectifier part and that part first of all this voltage i mean to say this power which is First of all this power which is coming from this alternator that that is converted from three phase AC to DC and then there is a control in the AC side which is fixing the output voltage this output voltage is coming through these wires this red and green wire red is positive and green is of course negative so by these wires the power is going to the battery and that power is regulated in the way that it the battery voltages should not increase 12 14 volt because 14 volt is the terminal voltage for a charged battery so while the battery is totally charged or fully charged so 14 volt should come on the battery terminals and all the time the battery should remain on 14 volts if the battery is crossing 14 volts it means that you are overcharging the battery and you are destroying it uh, so preventing such a destruction we must have to have this regulator part so then the power will be regulated because you don't know uh, the power coming from this uh, permanent magnet alternator because on the permanent magnet alternator there is no mean to control power i mean to say the voltage is, uh, is not controllable or the vehicle speed or the load is uh, 
setting up the voltage i mean the voltage value is set up by the engine speed and the load connected to the armature or to the alternator uh, so this way voltages are coming up and down so that's not accepted to us instead we need a steady voltage on the battery and that should be should not increase uh, to the value 14 volt on the battery uh, so for this purpose a regulator or rectifier is used mm, this this is the purpose here now i'm explaining on the diagram how it works the system works so this is starting from here as you can see this uh, this is the permanent magnet i have shown here uh, north south north south and north south poles six poles i have shown this it should be say it could be six it could be four or it could be more than six even eight twelve or whatever poles are used in your machine uh, it doesn't have any meaning so here are these coils inside which i just showed to you these coils they have been shown as delta so these uh, alternators which are uh, three phase they have two ways to connect either star or delta so this is connected in delta so in delta machine the current is more and the voltages are less so in star machine voltages are high and currents are less so this way mm, these machines work so red this uh, green and blue these wires are connected to the rectifier these six rectifiers diodes they are making a bridge rectifier for the three phase so this red line is coming as positive and this green line dark green line is coming as negative to the battery post as you can see this red line is coming to the battery positive post and green line is going to the battery negative post here is another part you can see this is the regulator part this was the rec rectifier part we discussed and now now here is the regulator part what the regulator part is doing here are some three switches you can see these three switches are not normal switches instead they are electronic switches they, they are thyristors transistors or whatever FETs are connected inside which are switching according to the output voltage which is 14 volt if the 14 volt is present over here these switches are closed uh, so maximum power AC power is uh, grounded and the power is not going on this positive wire to the battery so battery will be protected and it will not be overcharged in this way so while the voltage is decreasing if we are switching on some load like headlight or something or stereo or whatever uh, fan we are uh, switching on so then the voltage is reducing I mean to say they are going gradually down the 14 volt value so while it will be reduced so this black wire as you can see this black wire is a sense wire this is going from the positive through the key switch the key ignition switch it is going to to the regulator part so this regul this wire is telling to the regulator that now the voltages are reduced the value 14 so you have to to provide the power to the battery so then uh, the battery should charge on 14 volt so then the regulator part it is switching or i mean to say opening these switches and uh, then power is going to the battery so this this is a little demonstration i made for this particular uh, rectifier regulator and also for the alternator hope this will give you enough understanding to know how the charging system works here is another di two diagrams I have shown this is the generated power you can see these are sinusoidals uh, they are very very much common for the electrical uh, three faces are coming red green and blue they can be red yellow and blue or whatever uh, is of your choice you can color uh, such diagrams so this is the positive half and here is the negative half so the generated power is something like this but after rectification the power is coming like this means this downside negative cycle they are also clipped to the positive side and a steady DC is coming on the top and that DC is going to the battery and charging battery uh, because battery needs DC power not AC so it is AC power is regulated by AC power is rectified by rectifier and this way it is converted to the pulsated DC uh, which is used to charge the battery uh, so hopefully friends you have got some understanding from this demonstration and I will bring some more videos on this item this regulator item I will bring some more videos you can test the rectifier part using a multimeter so by multimeter you can you can evaluate uh, this uh, 
rectifier part and this rectifier part is going commonly defective uh, so that part you can evaluate up to some extent on this multimeter i will bring those videos and also in some other videos i will talk about some faults which are occurring in such a system and you can prevent such faults uh, through some uh, pre preventive maintenance making on the system so that's that video will also serve hopefully uh, to you people and you people will get some benefit from those videos uh, so friends if you like this video give a big thumbs up subscribe on my channel press on bell icon press on all so then you will get notification on each upload thank you for watching